here with Cole Deary, just came off winning Escape the Rock. Tell me a little bit about your performance this weekend. Um, you know, I was uh, I was happy. You know, uh, two falls the first day, went in my second match against uh, my third match, kid from LaSalle in the semifinals. Uh, had a dominating win, 12 nothing. Uh, really thought I put the work on him. You know, I got a little bit tired, not as I wanted to be. But uh, then went in the finals, uh, wrestled Mullen from uh, St. Joe's Regional. Yep. Uh, you know, tough match uh, for, you know, it, not the way I wanted to win. I, uh, last time I wrestled him, I beat pinned him in the second period. You know, it was tough. Um, winning like that, not as not the ideal win I wanted to have, but um, still got the W, so that was a good thing. Um, it was tough, but overall I thought I had a great tournament. So. Tell me a little bit, you're talking a little bit around it here. You're a big guy who can put up some points. Did your mindset change when you're dominating on the scoreboard and then maybe you're not dominating on the scoreboard? Um, you know, not not as much. I think when when I'm dominating those matches, I kind of it's just like score, score, score. But you know, when I when I was um, only up one nothing in the third period against Mullen, I just knew if I just stayed in his face, kept him on it, maybe I'd get a stolen call. For him, and I did. Um, you know, I just thought if I kept the pressure, just uh, wrestled as I always did. You know, took some shots, um, kept it on him, and it tired him out, and it worked. So, gotcha. Now you've wrestled four of the toughest in season tournaments there yeah. there is. You got Powerade, Iron Man, Beast of the East, Escape the Rock. Yeah. How different are you from the beginning of the season till now? You know, um, from when I had one Iron Man until now, I think it's just a uh, a jump in my uh, the way I wrestle with like hand fighting wise, taking a lot more shots. wasn't taking as many shots. Just kind of stuck to a couple of shots that I just I've had my whole life and I, which I've always used. But um, like this past weekend, just going out there hitting high crotches and stuff, you know, just stuff like that. It changes, but yeah. Tell me a little bit about how you, your in shape level. You came from playing football. You right into the wrestling season. Are you, do you feel like you're in a different shape for wrestling competition than you were when you started? Oh yeah, um, most definitely just um, working out every day here. It's, uh, it's quite the workout. So you kind of get that conditioning over time, just working out over the weekends, days that we've off, getting the conditioning level up again. You know, um, just things like that, that really help your conditioning level. Help me most definitely is just uh, one of the big things, so. Who do you not like working out with the most? Um, <laughs> I don't know. This um, I feel like sometimes it's uh, Conley. Conley's just sometimes it's Conley. He has a certain attitude he uses, and um, <laughs> but um, you know I'm not really sure. Just okay. Like that. Have you been distracted though? There's been a lot of schools interested in you since yeah. you've been on your streak here. Has it distracted you? Has it changed you or your who you are? Um, no. Just um, so my parents have always told me. Nate told me. It's just. Stay on the road, don't get uh, head over heels. Um, so just st uh, just stick to the grind, and that's what I've been doing, so. What's your favorite food? Um, mozzarella sticks. Mozzarella sticks, deep fried? Yeah. Dude, dude that's not good performance food. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just teasing you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what's your relationship right now with your weight, and are you trying to cut weight during the season, or are you just um, what your workout weight you is? Know, I um I'm gonna I'm gonna try and get down I'm gonna get down to um probably around 260 for uh, postseason like uh, states and nationals yeah uh, I'm sitting right around like 270 right now so so uh, just just get down a couple more pounds I feel like I pick the conditioning up more so I'm the most relentless wrestler out there. Anything else you want to say uh, to your fans? Or uh, your fans? Thank you. Thanks for the support. Hey, thanks for the time. I appreciate time, it. And good luck for the rest of the season. Thank you.